Flight boss, bitch, you know, for sure. You know, listen to the modern and the Moon. I'm the Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And right now, we're going to talk about the Pisces sun sign. Now, with Pisces, off the bat, Pisces, you got the gift. You got the gift of concernment. You got the gift of family, private issues, having emotional stability amongst yourself. Only problem you might run into is a lot of times you may let, you may, let other people's emotional stance try kind of rap at you and then when you see that getting out of hand you jump into that initiative bag and start to initiate your own emotional wave on things but that's the only thing only temperaments you could go through but for the most part you understand what's the actions of others you understand that people not not acting on logic right now people not thinking right now you understand that uh things is going on emotionally right now you understand that people are in their feelings right now and right now this is the place you always be at anyway so you don't really care anyway you know what i'm saying so right now you got that gift you got you got the gift of understanding the sun is in cancer so you got the gift of actions insight visions how to see intuition and psyche right now so you can kind of see the actions of other people and kind of know what it is so when you when you with a friend that got too much other elements in their chart and then and then they they y'all go y'all experience something together because jupiter is in libra today y'all y'all go through an experience together uh you you will be able to, to tell that person about that experience a lot better than you uh than they can tell you they may have a, they may the, the way they looked at it may be way off you know what I'm saying? And that's how you're going to appear. That's how it's going to appear to you. Whether they was right or wrong, it's still going to seem off because you have the gift of action and insight right now. Now, the moon is also in Cancer. So, with the moon being, uh, it's in late Cancer. So, the moon going to slide in the Leo part about 8 or 9 o'clock today. So, off the bat, uh, you've, been, you've been feeling comfortable with your actions but now you're starting to feel a little uncomfortable now you're starting to feel a little uncomfortable you're starting to feel like should i care for this person as much should i uh you know what i'm saying should i be indulging myself in this as much should i love and appreciate this as much should i be dreaming in this this much or should i just sit back and get back in reality again you're gonna start thinking about that stuff and for the most part when the moon slide into leo here's what's gonna happen you you're gonna start you need to express the way you feel about things you know what i'm saying because you can have a way of feeling about things and try to control it from a yin realm perspective and a lot of times pisces well pisces really don't have no problems with telling you how they feel for real though it, just, it may get very bad when the moon comes into leo we may have a lot of negative and violent pisces so try not if you're a pisces try not to be too violent or negative when the moon comes into leo because when the moon comes into leo off the bat the, you you're gonna need to express yourself right and you're gonna need and you're gonna catch all these feelings but since your sun sign is already pisces your actions and the way you see things is already chaotic. It's already in a chaotic feeling and emotional way. So once you feel the need to express these things, boy, you're going to turn a lot of, girl, you're going to turn a lot of people off. So try to stay in good taste right now. And because and, and when it when the moon do fully go into Leo, uh, which is later on today and all tomorrow, if you are going to express, express your emotional stance and how you feel about your talent, your creativity, your imagination. Once you get into someone else's talent, creativity, and imagination, it's going to become criticizing. You're going to start to look like a Virgo, or you're going to start to look like a uh, as a person who don't know what they're talking about because you're mixing your emotions and feelings and trying to talk about them like they're logic. You see what I'm saying? It's off. It's going to be wrong. If you just just get into yourself, you know what I'm saying. When it comes time, when that moon get into Leo, if if you're going to express something, express your talent, your creativity, your imagination, and that's when it works the best. When you start to get into conversations where others need advice or things of that nature, uh, slow down a little bit. Now, uh, Mercury being a Cancer, the way you think, communicate, and analyze, you are, you're already on the right path. You're already showing concernment. You're already showing discern. Um, you're already showing that you feel for another person. You're already taking another person's feelings into consideration before you think, communicate, and analyze whatever you finna come out, whatever finna come out your mouth. You see what I'm saying? Only, only problem you may run into is a lot of times you need to initiate that and can't and you can't sit around and wait for someone else to initiate it because you're too mutable in that aspect. But for the most part, loans, loans you already understand, so you're good here. Now, uh, Venus, Venus is in Taurus. This is a sextile, so it's still a sextile. You're still gonna win as a Pisces. You're still gonna win this all kind of opportunities to indulge. So try not to indulge. You're gonna win this all kind of opportunities to love, appreciate, and value, whether it's a person, place, or things. And um, yeah, you're gonna win this all kind of. So make sure your habits or anything is not bad, because you're gonna experience those opportunities also. So we don't, we don't need, we don't need you experiencing uh, any bad type situations and scenarios based upon what you love to do or based upon what you appreciate doing or based upon what someone else love and appreciate doing. We don't need you experiencing no bad feedback from that. Now as far as Mars, Mars is in Cancer. 
So off the back, your intentions were you 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 feel motivated to get what you need to get done. You are you feel you got that gift. You got that gift to carry out the duties and obligations of your son. You know what I'm saying? The same way Scorpio. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got that gift right now. So y'all can carry out the duties and obligations of, your, of the son. You just gotta make sure you do it in good taste, do it in good favor. You know what I'm saying? Cancers gotta make sure they don't go overboard with it. But for the most part, uh you kind of have a sense on what it takes to actually get the job done. And you know it takes some sense of emotion. It takes some some sense of feeling. It takes some sense of the yin realm to actually get things done. Things can't be too logical right now, too in your face, too seen out there by others in order to get things done. Actually, things that's too seen in your face, actually, you have to second question that right now. Second guess that because that could be an illusion right now, especially with all this energy being in water. So you understand that more than others. So try not to let that go into self-doubt or talking yourself out of doing things. Because that could be negative. Uh, and today's Jupiter. Jupiter is in Libra. So, you know, y'all share the Venus aspect because Venus is exalted in Pisces. But for the most part, with Venus being in Jupiter, you're going to have a lot of misunderstanding, a lot of miscommunicating when it comes to gaining wisdom and knowledge based upon the experiences that you go through in your life. Now, all the experiences that you're going through, you're going to experience it with an other or a person or thing because it's in Libra. But for the most part, you being a sun sign Pisces, you know how to relate to people. You know how to compromise. But right here, you have to know how to not do too much compromising, not try to relate, try, try to be a little non-relatable. Because here, you can let somebody talk you right into something, talk you right into an experience to the point that you're gaining wisdom and knowledge based upon an experience you didn't even have to experience. You know what I'm saying? And Pisces love to be there for people. But right now, you could get talked into being there for someone who didn't necessarily need you to be there for them. And they are they just dragging you down to a low end. So you need to understand that also uh, with Jupiter and Libra. And today's now you're gonna add meaning and reason and, and spirituality to all the experiences. You already did that throughout your whole life. Now you just need to start adding meaning and reasoning and, and start adding uh, a philosophical broad point of view of the people that's in your life. So you can start so you can know what not to experience. Or if it's a person, place or thing that you need to obtain that may bring a bad experience. Add spirituality and things and creativeness to that nature, and you're gonna be able to see through the illusion that Jupiter got going on. Now, when we go to Saturn, y'all share Jupiter, because Saturn is in Sagittarius, but it's still a square. Yeah, it's still a square. So what happens here is you need to learn how to add some stability to your life, add some practicality to your, your life, add, learn how to place and receive boundaries and restrictions and limits in the right area. You see what I'm saying? Add some more reality to your actions and the way you act and your dreams and your creativity. It ain't no telling where it can go. And how you can do that is you're already on the right path due to the Jupiter aspect. Uh, you, you could do that by adding meaning and reasoning to, to your life, to your actions and the way you see things. So you're already doing that. It's just now you just have to add a broad philosophical point of view of things, but in a, in a, in a real reality-based type way. Not too far, like... Tie that spirituality to reality in some type of way. And then that's when you're going to start to see through the filters that's actually are in front of you as you being a Pisces. You see what I'm saying? Because things could go a little haywire. But you know, Saturn is bringing restrictions, boundaries, and limits. And since it's, uh, since it's squaring your sun, that's something you have to learn to apply to your actions. You need to learn how to apply some type of boundaries and restrictions and limits to how you act or whoever's acting up in front of you or around you and things of that nature. So keep that in mind also. So for off the back, you know what I'm saying, with the moon going to Leo, ex express your own motivations. Try not to put your emotional stance on what other people try to do because it can be all bad. Pisces, day reading. Flight boss, bitch, goddamn air.